Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day here at Heavy Cardboard. Today we got a double feature, mm -hmm. uh, sort of sorts, like uh, a split double, split double header kind of baseball term. Yeah. It's it's almost baseball yeah. season right now. We got uh, beer and bread coming at y'all, and then later on tonight we got Ostia coming to y'all. So hopefully y'all join us for that one as well. I'm your host Edward Euler. You know him, Derek. All right, beer and bread. A little two-player game designed by Scott Holmes, published by Capstone Games, as well as uh, Deep Print Games, Spiel Pegasus, and all them. Capstone was kind enough to send us a review copy, and uh, Derek is the resident expert on this one. He has a lot more games of this under his belt than me, so if you're going to uh, pick somebody to win, yeah, pick him. Not this, you know, luck can, you know, it can it, move. We'll it see. can't. Okay. He's going to win, but it's going to be a good time. Uh, I'll be honest. This might be my favorite Scott Holmes game. Um, it, it's it's definitely up there. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, definitely uh, definitely we're gonna want to check this one out. So you ready? I am. All right, let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? All right, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. All right, uh, there's a theme here. Whatever. It's going to be a card playing game mm -hmm. in which we are going to be collecting these resources to play cards to our tableau, but ultimately trying to. Uh, construct, brew, or bake beer and bread respectively to be able to score them at the end of the game. That's mm -hmm. really what this game is. Yeah. Uh, so we have a bunch of different resources. We have water, we have wheat, we have barley, we have, uh, I'll get them right yet, mm -hmm. we have rye, and we have hops. Yep. Uh, the game takes place over six rounds. Over those six rounds, there's going to be fruitful years, there's going to be lean years or, or dry years, dry right? Years. And they alternate. Mm -hmm. So how the game works, however, is whoever is the first player has the windmill. And whether it's a fruitful year or a dry year, the turns themselves actually mechanically, the options you have on your turn work the same, except there are some minor differences between mm -hmm. them. So let's go ahead and go over what these are. So in a fruitful year, First thing we're going to do is we're going to seed with the various resources. So the water is unlimited, mm -hmm. so that's going to be max. If it's a fruitful year, you put out seven, eight, six, and six respectively. If it's a lean year, it's five, four, four, four. Mm -hmm. Okay, easy enough. So we have it set up for the beginning of the game. Then after that, I'm gonna deal cards. Now the cards are separated by beer and bread. Mm -hmm. Now you are allowed at any point to look through this, if you wish, to look at the tops because obviously you have beer cards, you have bread cards. Yeah. So you can look at these on the back if you want, otherwise there's the deck shuffled up ready to go. Whoever is the uh, starting player, and for this example, let's say I am, I would take the top five cards, mm -hmm. Derek would get the next five cards, mm -hmm. we would have them in our hands. Okay, easy enough. Then, whoever has the windmill starts. You have three options that you can do on your hand, on your turn. And I'll just go ahead, let's say I have these as my mm -hmm. three, four, and there as an example. Sure. So, my hand of cards here. For the first thing that you can do, you can play it over here for the resources. The resources are shown at the top, so in this case I would get a hops and a barley, so pretty simple. I would take one and one. Now, you have a little storage hut with nine spaces on it. Mm -hmm. You can only have nine. If you were to ever exceed that, you get those, and then whatever's left over goes to the other player. So nice. If they're out of room, they either take what you give them mm -hmm. or it just goes away out of the game. It does not get replanted because once you've harvested, you can't put it back in the ground, can't, right? Okay. Can't do that. Now, then after I've played one card, Derek could go. Derek goes, takes his action, whatever it might be. One of the three options, again, is playing for resources. Mm -hmm. If on a subsequent turn out of the five cards, I had played a second card, the stack. So in other words, now I'm going to get a water, a wheat, a, damn it, barley, 
and a uh, hops. So I would get all of those. If I played this, I would get all of those until that is full, and then I have to offer whatever I choose out of all those over. Okay, easy enough. So first action, first option is that. Mm -hmm. Then Derek plays like he did, and then in the fruitful years, this is what happens next. Switch hands. And now I have an option, three options. One, play here again, doing the same. Mm -hmm. The second option is what is on the bottom of the cards. The bottom are rule breakers, okay? Yeah. There are six different places that are associated with various things, end game scoring, mm -hmm. things that will help you actually um, whenever you make beer and bread, etc., yeah. etc. Et so let's say I choose this card and I go ahead, tuck it in like so, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. When I've done that now, I now, this rule breaker is in effect for the remainder of the game. Once a card is tucked, it will stay tucked for the remainder of the game. So that's my action. Derek then, maybe he plays a second card over there for resources. He would take resources and then we switch cards once again. And now, the third option that you have is actually to make beer or bake bread. So let's say for argument's sake, I have these resources in my supply here. Mm -hmm. So two water and three wheat, I would take them there, I've shown them, then the water would go back out, the wheat would go out uh -huh. into the general supply, and I have now created five points worth of beer. I will then flip that over like so because I've now made it. Mm -hmm. Now, for the anything that is on the top, you'll never see again. Anything that's on the bottom, you will never see again. It is turned into beer or bread respectively. Mm -hmm. Now, once I've done that, then Derek does something, whatever, See, it doesn't matter, let's say, okay, cool, we swap again, and now it's my turn. If I have the resources, I could bake some bread. What I cannot do is brew some beer. Why? Because there's already something there. Mm -hmm. You might be asking yourself, self, then can I only brew one beer? No, because what happens is, hey, for this rule breaker, I would tuck it, and when you tuck a rule breaker down here, yes. anything that's here actually goes into your scoring. You clean them out. You clear both cards that are there. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you don't play it here, they will stay there like luggage. They will stay there indefinitely. Not okay. Either. So you have to play rule breakers to clear those out. Now, once I've done that, then mm -hmm. obviously we'll swap mm -hmm. until we're out of cards. If I choose there, and I can. At the same, you know, not on the same turn, but if that beer was already there, if I wanted to bake a bread, I could do so because it was empty. You yep. get the idea. The oven is available. Right. We keep swapping until we're out of cards. Mm -hmm. Once we're out of cards, then we're going to go ahead and go into uh, the windmill phase, which whoever has fewer resources takes the windmill. If you're tied, swap. Mm -hmm. So obviously in this case, Derek has fewer resources. There, boom, done, that's the end of the round. So we would have some number of cards there, some here, whatever, you get the idea. So then, we go into a dry year. What happens in a dry year? Any resources that are above that number mm -hmm. get discarded. So in this case, there can only be five of those, four of those, et cetera, et cetera. Water, again, is plentiful, mm -hmm. whatnot. Then, after we have seeded this, then we pick up any cards if you would, yeah, sure. any cards that are left there, mm -hmm. that is your hand. And then, Derek, how many cards do you have in hand? Two, two. three to fill to five. Up to five, one, two, three, four, like so. Then, after that, there are exchange card spaces over here. So those exchange card spaces, mm -hmm. what's the difference between a lean year, or I'm sorry, a planted vol, or bountiful, whichever, and a lean year. Well, first off, less resources. Yeah. And secondly, a couple of other things. On your turn, you have the same three options. Har uh, harvest, mm -hmm. you can theoretically play as long as you have room, mm -hmm. or you can go ahead and tuck a card. Now, mm -hmm. if, let me get a example and a, f there. You can have an unlimited number of rule breakers for mm -hmm. each of the various types. Yep. Uh, you can do so like that. You do not swap cards, and that is actually shown right here that you don't swap cards. So whatever you have in your hand, you have. Mm -hmm. The exception of that is if 
one of these cards out here I like better than something I have in my hand. I can say, wow, I really want that card. I swap it, then the card that I just picked up from there, I have to play. Yeah. Either, again, one, if it's allowed, two, or three, and when I do that, remember, these will come over here, mm -hmm. like so. Yep. Rinse and repeat. Do that six times, go into final scoring. Final scoring, pretty straightforward. How many points do you get on your beer cards? That is the number that is shown right there, same with on your bread cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty straightforward. If you have any end game scoring cards, do you have any as yeah. an example? Here we go. If you have any end game scoring cards that are little rule breakers that apply to beer or bread respectively, do so. So let's say it's like this. So in Dan and Derek's previous game. So you'll notice that they both scored 17 for beer and uh, 30 and 20 respectively mm -hmm. for bread. However, very Kinesia-esque, yes. you actually score whatever is the lesser of the two. That's so right. they both scored higher for bread. So we go to beer, the final score was 17 to 17. It's a tie. tie. So then what do you go for tiebreaker? Tiebreaker is what is your other one, the That's higher right. score, mm -hmm. and the higher score was 30. So therefore Dan won in a tiebreaker. That's it. That's beer and bread. That Pretty is, straightforward. That's the rules. Okay. All right. So with that said, let's uh, take these out. I will shuffle real quick and uh, place your bets on who's going to win, and we'll get rolling. I mean, you know, if there is great synergy, then obviously, oh, yeah, you know, the abilities yep. can definitely swing things. Eight, eight. All right. Yep, we're all good. Okay. Put it in. All right, so uh, here, Rochambeau for a first player. All right. Uh, it'll be one, two, three, shoot. Okay, go ahead. Okay, right. right? One, two, three, shoot. All right, I'm first. Damn here it. we go. All right, so uh, here we go. We've seeded the fields, and now draw five cards. I am first, so there's mine. One, two, three, four. Yo, dog, you want some bread? There <laughs> you go. And the rules do explicitly say... Whoever has the windmill fills their hand first, mm -hmm. then the other player. Yeah. And I'm getting your card, so. Yeah, so they alternate. Yeah. So keep that in mind. I all don't right. mind having all something. All right, so a moment while we go through the cards. Nice to start with. So all of the res all, all the cards have two or three resources on them. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? I'm just, I, I want to play this here. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that's a bit aggressive, so I think to start, we'll go ahead and throw that out there. That's going to be a water. Mm -hmm. And that wheat. will be coming back into your hand, which is right. important. And a barley. And that, yeah, exactly. At the end of the fruitful year, remember, mm -hmm. those, that will come back to me, which then I can play that if I so gonna desire. going to do the same, okay. and I'm going to receive a water, a wheat, and, sorry, a wheat and a barley. Did your mic fall off? Yeah, it did. Did it? Yeah, look down. Thank you. Oh, it totally fell off. Sorry. <laughs> I bet you he'll sound better. Thanks. Yeah, it's probably you'll probably actually be able to hear me now. There we go. Uh, out of curiosity, can the fruitful and dry year sequence be randomized? I mean, it's, it alternates. It really, I suppose if you wanted a house rule, you could give it a try. We've never tried. I don't know. I mean, because of the way that... You'll see. You'll see. There's certain things that happen right. that make sense that it goes back and forth. All uh, right. So... Oh, swap. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Yes. I want these cards. I feel like you had the better cards. Oh, wow. That seems really good. Um, I 
The problem is, am I going to be able to do that? I think... What I'm doing is I'm looking at whether or not I'm going to be able to build... Uh, by build, I mean brew or bake. Um, you know what? I kind of like this one, so I think... I think I will go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and tuck this. Oh. Even though it's not... Uh, it's not the most efficient doing it this way, I think. I just really like this card. It says, uh, whenever you remove only beer cards while cleaning, uh, I get two wheat. Wow. Right? That's Extra strong. Extra resources seem good. That's strong. So, yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to continue... Um, producing. Producing. Some, harvesting, yeah. Yeah, you know, resources seem good. Um, and I think, actually, oops, just I flew it out of wants my hand. To come, it wants to come. I do not want that one to come out of my hand, but I do want this one because then I'll get everything. So I'll get one, one of, of everything, yeah. One of all of them. Yo, dog, I'm almost full. There we go. All right. Uh... I mean, I could do the same. I do want beer, for sure. But you know what? I think I'll go that route. So it's going to be two water, two wheat. And uh, I didn't explicitly say this, but obviously, if it's not there the harvest, you don't get it. You don't get it. No, nope, that's that's for sure. Done. All right, I am going to oh, tuck. Sorry. Yep. Go ahead. I would like to tuck, and I'm going to add to my storage. So now I get one additional space. So now I can I can score ten. Okay. And you get some bread. All right. So I have one space. You have two spaces. I probably don't. Uh, could you have done better here? Well, okay. So I could harvest to get more stuff or one more thing, mm -hmm. but then a lot of that just goes away and that feels wasted. I can't bake either of these two bread, which means I'm going to tuck one of them. Mm -hmm. And... I don't really like either one. And I don't want you to be able to do that. I think, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do this one. Oh, yeah. So this says, uh, at the game end, for each of your sold cards, meaning they're here or... It, anything left over here at the end of the game automatically becomes sold. It clears on its own. Worth four or five coins is worth an extra coin mm. for its type. I mean, that just seems good. I was hoping you were going to give that back yeah, to me. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Because I was actually going to do that right now. I'm making a beer. I'm brewing this lovely beer with two. And then two. And one hops. Uh, water goes back into yep. the area. There we go. And then this flips over. I have brewed a beer. Yeah, it's it's hard to pass that up mm -hmm. if I can. So yeah. I mm -hmm. will. That's going to be one, two, and one. Mm -hmm. Let's bake some bread. So that's here. These will go away. Thank you. And which flies in the face of that card, but so be it. All right, done. And uh, I will actually add, um, and I'll tuck the end game scoring, and at game end, if I sold at least one card of three types of bread, then I can gain two coins for either beer or bread. So I get to uh, apply the bonus based on uh, bread to the beer, which is really cool. Oh, hey, Matthias. Oh, we messed something up. We did? We did. Oh. All right, we will correct it going forward, but... Let me check that out. Okay. Me, uh... Oh, okay. Hold on. In the example on page five. Give me a second.
Is it for harvest? Yes. Hmm. Okay, I see that now. Yep, totally misunder I totally misinterpreted that. Okay. Let me see. So So I didn't get the additional resources? So here's how this works. Let me show y'all. So here, my apologies. You get whatever's on the new card. Mm -hmm. Anything that's on previous cards that's the same as the new cards, oh, you get. So okay. I would get two water, okay. and I would get two wheat. Okay. So technically, I shouldn't have this, okay. is how that works. I got it. I got it. And so you, in this case, would only have gotten yes. that and that. So you shouldn't have, shouldn't gotten, have that, gotten that. But we're going to let it go for the first round. Okay. So be it. Got it. Now that yeah. I understand that, I will definitely yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good call. Mm. Sorry, Matthias. Thank you. Yes, yes, thank you. Good call. All right. That makes sense. Larg. Okay, so we are now out of cards. So player with the fewest resources. So in this case. Me. Derek. That goes there. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we go into the second round. Mm -hmm. Seed the fields. So there should be three, only four, oh. one more, mm -hmm. and one less. Got and it. the water stays as it is. Mm -hmm. And then pick up these. I have two. You have two. You get three. Thank you. I get three. There we go. That definitely changes things. Boy, does it. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many plays have you guys house ruled? Uh, it sounds like uh, double digits yeah. now, yeah. apparently. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. We definitely had more resources than we than we needed to have. Yes, facts. but yeah, there was a lot of um, ones that were double, so you know I'm not sure exactly right. how much. It's no big deal. Know. You're up, and remember, we mm -hmm. do not swap cards. Now we want here. three here. Oh, thank you. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we'll go over what those are real quick. All right. So those three. Let's see. Ooh, God, I can't even read that. Uh, during fruitful years, uh, before the fur, okay, I give up. Here you go. Uh, during fruitful years, before the first card swap with the other player, turn one of your hand cards upside down. This inverted card can only be played by you, not the other player. Mm. Okay, so it basically reserves a card for you, mm -hmm. that one. Uh, this one says, egg game men for every two beer cards, you get a plus one on the beer, and this one is an additional storage. It's also the resources at the top as well as the stuff in the middle, just like normal. All right, cool. All right. I start, so I'm going to play this for its resources, and that will get me a water and, and one wheat. I mean, that seems good. So I would like that in a perfect world, and I can't. So, okay, that kind of stinks, but, so if I want to build that, uh, I got to get that going. So, okay, I need to hold on to that, which means I got to play this. Okay, I will go ahead and harvest a wheat and a hops. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, a ro wheat and a hops. I had it right. Yes, wheat I said and a hop. so. Okay, done. And I'm going to harvest three more. Thank you. Or the last ones. Yes. So I guess I'm not doing that. Yes. Uh,. Let me do this in the right order. So I want that. I got to get this right. Eight or nine or four or five. And of course, that would work. That would work. Um, you know what? 
I think I'll go ahead. Do I tuck it or do I get it? <laughs> no, tucking it's the right thing. Um, so I will tuck this. Says I can hold two beer now. And this will come over and score mm -hmm. later. All right, done. Okay. All right. I think I would like to make some bread. Let's make some bread. I'm going to be making that bread for six, and it will cost me two of these resource, two wheat, and one water, which goes right back there. You got it. And that flips. I am full. You are. I... Messed up. That's okay. It's okay. So, or did I? Wait. No, I did not. We're okay. So, we're going to go and brew some beer. Mm -hmm. So, it's going to be two water and one of each. Oh, that's nice. Of those. That that's nice tuck value, too. Yeah. Okay. So, those will go away mm -hmm. and that will flip. So, mm, beer. Mm. Okay. Oh, I did. Damn it. All right. I think. Um, Endgame scoring was good, so I'm going to tuck another one, and this one now does three types of beer. So now if I can get three types of beer and three types of bread, it'll give me an additional four points that I can apply to one of my lower score. Um. Oh, and this clears because I... You, because you tucked them, right? Mm -hmm. I think... I wasn't going to tuck this, but I need to clear that because that'll get me two resources. Ah. And you know what? I might end up getting it, so I might as well do this. That's Ooh. a tough decision. Yeah. So this is uh, whenever I have eights or nines here, it's worth an extra. So, I mean, those are, those are big value ones. But the important thing is this clears. Yes. And then I get two wheat. For the, oh, doing that. One beer gives you the two wheat. Nice. Mm -hmm. And also, I need to double check. Does this come? Uh, it doesn't say, so Matthias can correct me. It's here. I think I harvest it from here, uh, as opposed to from the general supply. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. Okay. Yeah, bad man. All right. So I don't want to get any more resources because, yeah, it's kind of... It's, it's a little lean. Most of them I've taken, so I, you know, I only can blame myself for my own harvest activities. Um, so I think what the best thing for me to do is I'm going to tuck this. So during the next, uh, whenever I collect a wheat, I can collect an additional one during harvest or store actions. Okay. Help yep. me with the wheats. Okay, never from supply. We got that right. Thanks, Matthias. So now here's the, here's the problem. I wanted to build this, mm. but I realized You're water I, I, I'm a water short. That's frustrating. Mm. It's other abilities not that bad. No, extra storage is always nice, but I can't build it, so I could do that. I could exchange it, mm. which obviously I can't bake anything with it, but honestly... There's a better tuck. The resources are identical whether I use this or something else, and it's going to go away either way. So I will do this. So that's mm -hmm. going to be one water mm -hmm. and two hops. You hopping. Done. All right. So that is all of our cards. Mm -hmm. So now we are going into the next year. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever has the fewest stored, I have six. You have four. He keeps the windmill. So mm -hmm. we, now we recede so that we need six, eight, two, and five. And if there's not enough in the supply, then there's not enough in the supply. There we go. Boop. I just need two, two on this one. Yep. And then the hops, we need five. And so these go away from both of us. Those get discarded. The exchange cards get discarded, and then we each draw five. So windmill, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, and five. 
There we go. I mean, boy, you were pushing me in a direction, aren't you? Um... This is going to be tight. Okay. Oof. Uh, I don't know which one I want. Uh, all right. Well, I think I'll do this one. I want to, I'm going to tuck a card, and it's going to be part of my cleaning ability. And whenever I remove both a beer and a bread, I receive two water. Okay. So you want to try and fill both of those, yes. whereas I only want beer. Mm -hmm. And on that note, Yeah, I guess I'm going to lean into it, I guess. So, wow. uh, when only beer, I get a water into, oh, wrong one. Let's try that again. There we go. So, there, uh, two wheat and a water. So, hmm. going heavy beer. Heavy okay. beer. But I still need some wheat. Heavy right. cardboard goes heavy beer. Okay. <laughs> I've seen it somewhere. Go, oh, good lord. All right. That is a lot of water. What you got? It's kind of, kind of needs water. Yeah. I don't have any water. So I am going to get some water. Get two water, in fact. direction do we go with this? I, I really got to be able to make a beer. Um, these cards suck for me. Yeah, I like heavy beer. I'm a Guinness, Guinness drinker. I like I quarters. don't drink beer. I never got the taste for it. I do like a good black and tan. No, I feel like that's a little excessive. I have to say, the airport when we were in it, um, when we were traveling from Spiel, and uh, I got to have Guinness in the airport. It was amazing. Why is that? It's so much. I mean, I like Guinness normally, and then you drink it so, where it's super fresh, and it was just you know, it's it's, it's an experience. Yeah. Because you know, it's um, it's the way it's intended to taste. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. To say that. Oh, this is terrible for me. Okay, go ahead. These are not good cards. No, none of the, no, this is not cooperating. Um, oh, but that will. All right, so then I think, I think I won't be full, so I'll do this. So I am going to um, play, yeah, I'll play this and receive two Rye. Uh, Definitely not as efficient as I have been the last couple games. I'm torn on whether or not this is just dumb. Uh, if I do that, that allow so there are three cards so if I go one two and then maybe three but it has to break so perfect for me to be able to do that mm. so I don't know that that's a really good idea but I think because of what I have I have to do this I think I think so I think I have to go there oh I thought that was coming back to me. Yeah, so it can store only water, so I'm allowed to yep. do like so, so at least now I have room. Mm -hmm. It'd be great. Get, get yourself five resources and give me three. That would be well, fantastic. Well, might, yeah. Good luck with that. 
Okay, so that's not part of your plan. Uh, no, helping you is not part of my plan. You are correct. All right. Now, let's see. Um, well, I think I should start making stuff, so let's make another If layer. you can, sure, yeah. Must this be nice. Two water and one of each. Uh, we, yep. And that flips. It's not helping me. It's one I've already made, but that's fine. It still scores me five. I hate the idea of doing this. So that's eight, nine, or four and five. So I guess it makes sense to store this one for next year. So that's going to be two water and two rye. Mm -hmm. So the water I'm keeping. Question is, do I want to keep? Water. Yeah, you know what? You get them. I could have exchanged these with something, but you're you're loaded up for rye, and then it's not as helpful. I'd right. like. Yeah, I I reckon I reckon obviously, not. Yes. So, okay. All right. I think I will play this card, which I can pretty much use immediately. So now, whenever I remove a beer card, I'll collect a water. So now, cleaning water, both or beer, right, nets me some. So water. there you go, and that gets you a water. So that works. Uh. So, getting resources doesn't make sense. I can't create the beer. No beer creation? However, I mean, tucking it is the obvious thing, but... I was going to tuck that one. But Just the me. hops... No, I guess... I guess I go ahead and do it. I just, I feel like I'm playing so inefficiently right now. Oops, there we go. But that's okay, it's okay. So whenever I collect hops, I get an additional hops, provided there is an additional hops in which to harvest. So we're done. Go there. So windmill, who has the fewest resources? That'd be Derek. I still do. We get these back into our hand. So two, you have. Oh, all this two beautiful and barley. Five. Goodbye, One, barley. One, two, three. Oh, that barley gone is painful. So three and... There we go. Bye-bye. Okay. I mean... That's not bad. Oh, we'll okay. We need three. Oh, yeah, thanks. So what do we got? Uh, you can hold an extra beer. Whenever you collect wheat uh, during harvest, you get an extra wheat. Whenever you collect water, you get an extra water. Mm -hmm. All right, you're up. Hmm. I'm just a little short. All right, I'm going to gain some water. I need water. Two water? I really like that bread. It's a nice bread. Yeah, it's a really heavy, dark, molasses-y bread. Mm -hmm. um, and all you need is a little rye. But I think the thing that makes the most sense is go and brew some beer mm -hmm. here. So that's going to be two agua and tray wheat Very done. Nice. All right, and then I will... Hmm. 
Yeah, I know. I focused on failing on the joke department. I apologize. <laughs> it's a lean year, so we keep. Right, good, right. I was planning correctly. All right. Hmm. No, nope, it's got to be. Oh. oh, that's painful. Probably not the best exchange, but I need to exchange. You put that Hi, extra Jess. stuff in there. Hey, Jess. Um, you put the extra stuff in there, so now I feel like I want to I get that extra stuff. <laughs> so, so, yes. I'm going to trade out and get no! that card to use it for resources. But three. Gonna, oh, oh, they, oh, this is wonderful. I'm giving you some water. So there's three water, and you get one of these a barley and a wheat. And my power, I get one additional. Oh, this is glorious. Yes. Okay. Hook a brother up. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. So you get to keep one of them, or you, or yeah, mix them out. You get to one, and you have your extra storage. So I get all five of those. Yeah. For real. Wow. Mm -mm, not yet. Okay. Uh, hold on. Hold oh. on. Uh, yep. Yep. That's it. Oh, that's glorious! Look at this. You are you are a kind and thoughtful farmer. I'm awful. This is something I didn't want to do. Okay, now that that may change the calculus of things. Mm. Oh, damn it! All right. Um, oh, this is me now. God. Okay. So let's see. Sadly, I cannot. I cannot create a single thing. That is brutal. I need one more hops, and I don't have the ability to get hops. That's terrible. Okay. Well. And all of these have... I, Mm -hmm. Well, I well, okay, so I could throw some things away. Maybe, okay, okay, okay. So maybe we go a different direction, so let's see. I can't do that now. That doesn't help me. Do I, maybe? I think I do. God, I hate doing this. All right, so I'm actually getting just two there. I have to throw it away because you don't have room. So I guess we get rid of those two. Well, they they come by me, but um, do they not? I let me double check here for. Whenever you harvest in a lean year. Mm -hmm. so. I mean, if I had room, I would, have, uh, I would have taken them, but obviously I don't have any room. And I did just give them to you, so I don't really want them. I'm just, I was just asking. They cannot exchange oh, okay. for anything stored. So in it, that, it would in have that, to be a space. Yeah, there has to be a space, so it automatically gets thrown away okay. in that case because you're full. All That's right, good. good. Yep. Good to know. All right, and I think uh, the best thing for me to do is to build something, obviously. So I will take this one right here. Brew some beer. Brew some beer. And what do you, yeah, this is important. Put, um, let's put another beer out there. This one, whenever you're harvesting the rye, you get an additional rye. All right, and I'm gonna spend that, so I'll spend two water, I'll spend, Two and one. Here are number two out of my three types. Yeah, that feels good.
And I will go and brew it. Oh, wait, wrong one. Is it? Nope. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Wait a minute. Wrong one. Did you pull the wrong one from I the, did. this it's way? It's that one. Apologies. That one. Mm -hmm. So that's four water. Wow. Uh, that is that, that, and that. Mm -hmm. And I'm allowed to have a second because of that. Done. Special ability. Okay. All right. So I can clear this out and get myself a water, which would be good to build. Or hmm. I can fill myself back up for the next round. That feels wasteful, so I think that. That. And that gets me that and that. Seems really good. And yeah. That. Yeah, okay. I think I'll play another card, which I normally don't do. So we'll do three, which, um, which I'm gonna get two of these and one of that. So, and I would receive three of these because of my power here. Yep. I am going to go ahead and tuck that. At the end of the card phase every year, I can discard a card and draw a new one. But mm -hmm. more importantly, that clears. That's and right. when that clears, ah, ha, 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 I lose out on the, hold on, maybe I don't do that then. Because there isn't any wheat. There isn't any wheat. So hold on. Maybe I don't do that. Oh, you are a terrible human being. <sighs> Gotta grab them while they're there. Harvest them. Well, it is a lean year, right? It is. Damn it. You still get the water, though. Yeah, but... Is it per card, or is it just... No, it's just, just uh, any. Mm. So maybe it makes more sense to do it that way. And I can clear it next round. You know what? <sighs> yeah, I think so. So I will get that and a water. I won't get the wheat because there aren't any because Derek's terrible. It was good. Mm, wheat. Yep. Done. All right. Go ahead. Ha! I'm going to build this guy here with three wheat. Three barley and one water. All those resources, goodbye. That is, that's some tasty looking bread. Mm-hmm, it looks really good. And even better, I have two of them. Do I waste the two wheat? That feels so terrible. For one water. I don't think so. I'll lose the exchange, but I'll take the two water there. And I guess that would be uh, yeah, those. Yeah, that's good. I can always throw them away, right? Mm -hmm. Or exchange them like I did, give them to you. Right. So there's that. All right. Not the end of the world, I guess. So we're done with the lean year. Mm -hmm. That will move moving into it. So who has the fewest? That's Derek. These go away. These go away. These stay. Derek. One, think. two, three, four, five. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Really? I'm glad at least we're swapping these. And also, if the deck runs out, just shuffle up the discards. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. All right. What do we got? So what do you have right now? You have three beer and two bread. Mm -hmm. And I have three beer and one bread. Okay. All right. You're up. Well, it would behoove me not to uh, to tuck something, so let's see. Um, all right. Ooh. I think I will tuck this one right here um, under my harvest action. So whenever, whenever I, you know, collect... Um, either one of these resources, either a wheat or a, or a barley, um, I'll receive an additional one. Store action or harvest. You can probably guess what I'm going to do with my next turn.
Oh, and then these guys clear. Right. They go over to here. Boop. Oh, we forgot to reseed. And sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. We seven, need that seven. Eight. Oh, seven more here. Eight. Seven total. So one more. Yep, one more. Okay. And then we need six and two. Oh, that's very important. There we go. And two. So, I don't think that's as important now. This game goes so quick. That doesn't. Uh, I wasn't expecting None any glory of those rooms in this game. suck. But you definitely can get a glory room just by taking away somebody's resources. I mean, it gives me a hops next turn. Is it worth it for one action? I don't think so. And that, I can't. I have to tuck something, and I'm trying to figure out what oh, to tuck. I received two water for that card. Yep. I don't know that I'm going to use it much, but I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Is it worth doing that? Because I only have one room. Oh, ha, 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 ha. And I lose out on this then. I am not playing well, people. You should make a bait. A so bread. you know what I do? Can you make bread? But then I lose the free resources. Uh, yeah. Well, this is it only. Uh huh. Whenever you remove only, oh, it says only. Oh, this is any. Yeah. So I would still get the water. I would lose the wheat. Yeah, you no. just want to get the wheat. All right, fine. I will do it then. Fine. So I will spend the water. Mm -hmm. And three of the rye. A little tasty rye bread. Seedless rye there and looks yummy. Done. Okay, fine. Are you giving me cards I want? Oh, come on, really? I don't want these cards. I want the cards I gave you. All right. All right. What are you? Uh, what are you harvesting? I imagine that's what you're doing. I. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that anymore now. I have new plans. Pivot. <laughs> Pivot. Pivoting. Ah, that's right. So Je Jess has made an argument mm -hmm. that the reason I'm my sports teams have sucked ever since I've met her and why I am not terribly success as successful as I used to be playing poker and why I lose most board games. All my luck, I, I hit the jackpot with her. <laughs> and so all my luck was used up with that. So, I mean, it, it's valid. It makes sense. I get it. Oh, it's a price. Yeah, it's a price I'm willing to pay. Yeah. I know. So that's a fair point, Jess. I didn't realize that I was going to be sacrificing all that, but it was worth it. <sighs> all right. Tucking these doesn't seem so good. No, it really didn't. It, none, of, none of those felt solid. Agreed. All right. So then I am going, you're right, I am going to grab resource because it seems like the best action at the moment. And I will get a barley and a hops. Hop, hippity hop. Give me them barley. Well... I have to clear at this point, so. Okay, it's not the end of the world, so it's going to be one of these. That's actually really good. That worked out really, really well. So I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. Ah. Oh, I want that come back. So now I have for any card that is four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Basically, any every card's worth one extra uh, point. That's, that's going to be hard to overcome. All right. Well, um, we'll see. And more importantly, that's, these bad boys. Uh, I should have tucked that instead. But 
Well, I want to score more points. Maybe your additional four or five. Or I, uh, we'll, so we'll see. I don't know. Well, it's like having one additional build. Right. So, so we'll see how it goes. And then I am going to do what I wanted to do last turn, and I'm going to um, uh, work with my uh, ability. So I'll get one of each of these resources, and then I get an additional. Yeah, that makes sense. Sure. Uh, let's see. And you get nothing. And you like it. That's kind of an interesting, like, it would be a very heavy hop-centric one. Is it worth it? I don't know. I can't build any of these. What do I not want to give back to you? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think it's this one. Yeah, you don't get that. <laughs> yeah, you don't get that. Uh, that'll be a wheat. Oh, I like and that. a water, I know, because you can build that. It's it's a seven too. I don't want to give these cards. I know, I I gave you, I made sure two cards, one of which I can build no matter what. You couldn't build them both, so. <laughs> I can build both of these. Uh, well, that means you get, you might be able to build one of them on the way back. Oh, I definitely will. So you're up. You gave me garbage. Uh, all right. So I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't trade. So I either. Sorry, or, Tyler. Yeah, it's got to be. It's it's got to be. It's yeah. It's got to be another tuck. I'm just all tucking right. all over the okay. place. Wow. So now just just so when, same with hops. So yeah. Now hops. Okay. Yeah. It seems seems to work. Uh, let's go and brew some and some brew. Give me that card, whatever it is, so I can build it. <laughs> That's coming to you. Uh, so it's going to be a water, one, uh, a hops there and there. Very nice. That was a very easy build. It was. It uh, was. So. I actually set myself up to do both of those builds. All right, you're up. And I will now build some bread. That's two, two. And one, and look at that. I just have enough resources to build that card that you just built. Oh, wow. Well, oh, I'm, I'm torn up about it. Yeah, it's upsetting. I know. And I can't, unfortunately, build this yet. yet. So, I ha I, so I have a choice. That's true. I can get those, or I could play it there. So it's two water and a hops. Mm. Or a water and two wheat. And I think we go the water and the two wheat. I think that makes the most sense. So mm. I'll go ahead and tuck that there. And whenever I brew beer or bake bread, I can exchange mm. those. But that clears this. And more importantly, I get the water and the two wheat going into the final round. You are definitely the beer master. And you are the bread guy, so I'm, we'll see I'm how evenly, it goes. I'm trying to be evenly dispersed. I, I remember quite a few games uh, um, that, you know, we had that weird scoring where the lower one scores. Right, you know, yeah, the tracks. yeah. All right, well, mm -hmm. seven to five. You keep the first player marker. So uh, seems to be the case. This game. comes back into hand. Mm -hmm. How many do you get? Three Two, more? Uh, three, yes, three. Three good I ones. I get four. Please. There we go. And then we have... And what beer do I have to make? I need to make a... There are two cards left. I need to make a nice, tall, silver one. So what do we have? At the end of the seating phase, that's junk, an extra storage, and you can hold an extra bread, but more importantly, what it gives you right there. Okay. I have to do that. Hey, Brian! Do that. Want to do that? <sighs> nope. I think that's where we have to go, though. Is that one? And so we keep them, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's. 
are we doing here? So many different ways I could do this. All right, so hopefully I choose the right one. So I think that gets built. That gives me this. Yeah, that's the best way. Okay, so I'm going to start, and I will start with. Ooh, I didn't even look over here. No, I think that's still good. E no, I put it down. I'll take it. So I'm I'll one hundred. Oh, uh, hold on! Stop! 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 Mm -hmm. Forgot. We uh, need three. Refill. Okay, now you can. There All we right. go. All right, All we're right. good. Yep. We have to remember to do date. Do date. I'm going to rethink my life choices, actually. I will take this one instead to get more stuff. And now I'll receive one water, one of these, and then, of course, two of these. Yes. Okay. Exchange that. Mm -hmm. Produce that. That'll be there and there. Done. It's all tense over here. Mm. So close. Oh, this is going to be close. Uh. Uh. There's no way for me to do it in that order. You know what? I'm going to. I'm going to have to, really, that would be bad. What's better distance? And then that. Don't matters. know if I can do it all, but we're going to try. All right. I am one water. I Glory water. to Rome! I need water. I'll take the water. And then I received, I received, so I, do I still take all the, the stuff and yep. just toss it? And then it goes Well, you to don't you. toss, yeah. Oh. Well, in that case. You just no glory to Rome. Well, I guess not. I guess. Okay. I, you, can't, you can't build it, though. Well, it actually saves me, because, or does it? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, and you, oh, that's the one I needed. Yeah, I know, it, the Glory to Rome stands. Damn it. Damn, my Glory to Rome you twice in this game. All right, so. I need one barley so bad, and I just don't want to waste the action to build it. But That's, I don't. I just need a one barley, and yeah. And that was. I was going to be able to build this and one other card, but you taking it, that was. And the yeah. funny thing is, I, I I just can't build it because I have this spot. But yeah. We'll, we're going to see what's going to happen. I wasted one action, but. So, this. Damn it, the, and the, the resources, I, I need two specific resources in a perfect world that I can't do. Can't get them both. Um, mm.
Now I have to throw something away if I do it. But I don't think I can build anything without doing it. Like literally nothing. You have so much stuff too, but you have a lot of wheat. I think one of the wheats is going to have to go away. And that'll be it for wheat for us. The wheat train is, is leaving. The station. Uh-huh. So if I'm building that one, I can't use this. No, it's got to be that. Stop trying to tease yourself with anything else. Yeah, no, there's just no way that it works. So... That'll be both of those. The question is, do I keep them both? Well, one is for sure going to be, well, actually, oh, I will do. There's going to be no more left. Okay. So here, look at this wheat. It yeah. goes away. Bye -bye. The question is, do I keep that? So, let's see. Look at this wheat. <laughs> Boy, that looked nice. So, just to be clear, it is. Okay. I don't think it's going to matter. I don't. Um, just mm. throwing wheat away. Okay, done. Damn it. Every time I play this thing, completely different tableau. All right, let's go here. And then I will use three water in back into the stream. And two wheat. One. And Barley and a hops. hops. There we go. That is a big get for you. That is a big Big thing. And mine is going to be a big bread. So that's going to be one, two, three water, oh. wheat, yeah. mm -hmm. two barley, oh. and a rye. And that's all of that. Mm -hmm. That will go there. OK. Two cards left. All right. Well, I think I'm going to exchange because you know what? An end game scoring card out at this point is really good. So I'm going to tuck this, which will, uh, for every two bear that I have, and it will clear this, which will give me four bear. So that will be two points at the end of the game. Uh, there we go. And it gives me two water by clearing that for this and a bear card. So three water which should shut me up for another bear. Uh, that is impressive. So let me just see here. Is there anything even close that I can? So wheat, anything with more than two wheat, I can't do. So that bread. Oh, the irony. <sighs> what a resource is worth at the end of the game? Nada. Yep. So, if I can't build anything that I have. Hmm. Well, this tucks for an endgame score. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, I mean, it's a point. For every two bread, so that and that will clear. That's not going to get me anything, but there's that. All right, it's a point. Go ahead. Last card. Boy, I wish I could build this. I oh, one. thank God you can. Yeah, okay. one hop short. Yep. If I had one more storage, I would have been good and would have been able to make pretty much build a good amount of things. But three, one, nope, I can't do that. And one off of that nine, too. Oh, that's, that's, that's painful. Yeah, so none of them tucking will give me anything additional. So I think the only thing I can do is tuck this for the end of the game. There's no points or anything. It's kind of a wasted action, but right. there's nothing else I can do. I could go over here and get resources, but the resources are not going to do anything for the end right. of the game. Right, and you can hold an addition, so it's wasted. And this one, I don't mm -hmm. think there's anything I can do either. I'm mm -hmm. just way too short on yeah. resources. I was hoping whatever you traded here would be something available. Oh, no, I made sure. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, it literally doesn't matter, so mm -hmm. that just gets me a water. That's barren bread. So done. All right, so now we go into final scoring. Okay, so these would clear if we had anything yes. would come over here. Mm -hmm. So now you separate them into two stacks. Mm -hmm. Eleven, nineteen. So there's twenty-four mm -hmm. for beer. How many for you? Oh, beer. All right. Let's go beer. I have nine. That's um, ten, nineteen, and a uh, twenty-four. Really? Mm -hmm. Dead on. Twenty-four, and I have three different types, so. I'll be scoring some additional points. Okay, so sure, do any of your your uh, bonus. So I have plus one on all of those. Yeah, so I get four for that. It's ridiculous. So be awesome. Plus four. Okay, and you? I'm gonna get a uh, plus two, and then an additional because I have two um, of each. Then an additional two, so additional four. So dead dead even, twenty eight apiece. Wow. Wow. Okay. I think you're going to get me on the bread. I thought you would. Mm -hmm. So we will see. So. Mm -hmm. I have 20. I have 18. And I get an additional so. two. So that's 22. 18. You get 20 and you get an additional two. Mm -hmm. And for me, it uh, for all of them, I have 18. Three types of bread. 19, 20, 21. And then for every. Three types of beer. Every two. I get an additional, so that's going to be a total of four. So that's going to be a, another four. Ooh. That's a 22. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? 22. <laughs> okay. So now, oh. let me go through the uh, the right. tiebreaker. So is it important that we didn't that we didn't take resources at the end? So here we go. I hope that's not. Uh, what it is. All right, whoever has the higher final score. Okay. So. <laughs> Damn it. So, okay, let me go, uh, take all your soul cards, place them face up, da 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 do, then afterwards check your upgrades. Now you have the total score for beer and total for bread, and the lower is your final score. So I'm pretty sure that's, uh, 50 to 50. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, whoever has the high, highest final score wins the game. In case of a tie, the player who has the higher total score for their other type of good, again, Dead even. Dead even. And then, if this does not break the tie, the player who does not have, have the, the windmill. Mill. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, that was the tiebreaker. Oh, I should have had more. Ah, oh, I forgot about that tiebreaker. Well, you got it. Um, so, hold on. Wait. Wait, there's another tiebreaker? Oh, apparently you can't math. So, uh, hold on. What do you mean? Look at your bonuses. Yeah, it's three types, three types, and then for every two bear, you get Oops. one coin. Hold on, wait. I hit the wrong one. Mm -hmm. Ah, I moved it. A moment. There we go. Okay, go through it again. Go through. So your bread. Yeah. So my is, so my bread is. Uh, I have three of each type for a plus two. So what is? What that? did you give me? Did you? Fifteen. Yeah. That's twenty. Yeah, and two. Oh, she's right. I should have only got two. And not uh, four. I got no, four. No, you on, got two. Yeah. No, that's right. And then I got four on on beer because I got the three different types for plus two, and uh -huh. then I got plus one plus one, which is four. Take away two from beer and add two to bread. Oh, okay. Hold on. It says either. So, and what is yours for? Hold on. Mm -hmm. Ten. Oh, I could. I could. Nineteen use, and five. Yeah. So it's twenty-four. So I could push on my number. I have a choice of where I yeah. put the money oh, to. Yeah, oh, there you go. So right. I could push the money and win. Yeah, that's what you should that's do. What, yeah. All right, yeah, so yeah, yeah. in other words, so instead of instead here, of my bear, yeah. it would be yeah, two, yeah, yeah. so that's 26. You're right, Sam. And then four is 24. I had the, I had the option. That feels better. I don't, I disagree. <laughs> Boo. I had the versatility. I mean, yeah, it's hard yeah. to get three of those sure, things out. So, you so know. well done. All right, so thoughts, beer and bread. Um, there's not a lot of two-player games I like, like, you know, Japur and, like, uh, card games that are that are really play well. Um, 
some games are made for two players, but I usually don't like them. I mm -hmm. usually, and I love Lagrange, and I love multi-use cards like Glory to Rome, so this is like in my wheelhouse. I actually seek out a two-player game when, you know, when this came out, because it was actually good enough that I would want to play it even when a game day with lots of people around. So. Right. So that's, I, I, I feel pretty good about this game, and I'm interested in what else comes out if this is a series, what other, what other two-player games, because um, sometimes two-player games that are four players that become two-player games, you lose some of that essence of what that game was, mm -hmm. and I feel like this game kind of feels like the what it's supposed to be, and it plays that way, too. Yeah, oh, I, I think it hits perfectly for what it is that it's trying mm -hmm. to do, right? Exactly. It has the interaction between mm -hmm. the, the trading half the time, mm -hmm. And then I, I think it has a, a fair bit of, maybe not long-term planning, but kind of like mid-tier planning yeah. as far as, okay, I can't build this right now. Mm -hmm. I need resources. I think I'm going to be able to work towards this for the next round. Let me store this when it's mm -hmm. plentiful, and then when it's a lean year, I get that card back into my hand, which then I will be able to build it. Mm -hmm. I like that aspect of the planning. Like I said, it, there's enough here that is heads up. Yes. As far as the interaction goes, yeah, I think it just hits everywhere it needs to hit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, there's there's somewhat of a you can you can do a little bit of like kind of removing stuff and kind of a little hate draft, but not really because it's like I don't want you to have this card, so I'm just going to use it for a resource on this turn because you can see what everything everything right. available to you. The only time you don't know something is the very first turn or I get uh yeah on the uh on the plentiful years right and yeah. then oh hey now I get to see okay let me try and that that would be a bit of a negative is mm -hmm. if m the game does have a bit of a memory aspect in that okay I just gave you these they're mm -hmm. not right here in front of me I need to plan for that card coming back That's to me right. I'm hoping or maybe those two cards hopefully they come back to that. you right but I like mm -hmm. there's a lot to like here yeah, I, um, and this is my fifth play, and um, and I, I have to say that the tableaus look completely different each time. And my favorite cards, I didn't even see them, that of the last games that actually I put me in a really great position. I didn't see them, so it still worked, and it still felt good. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely a positive reinforcement game. It feels good to be able to succeed on a plan, and overall, just, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think that worked out really, really well. So there you go. Beer and bread. Beer and bread. Uh, Scott Alms, Capstone, big thanks. Appreciate you all stopping by. Uh, thanks to Matthias for uh, correcting me on us getting too many resources. So thank you for that. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it, y'all. That's fantastic. And, and apparently the scoring. So thank you. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. I'm looking Not forward to it. Not that I want to tie this. when I could win, you know? <laughs> Well, and and you would lose in a tiebreaker, so I guess it was beneficial overall. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm actually looking forward to busting this out with Jess. I think mm -hmm. Jess would enjoy this as yeah. well. Um, all right, so hey, if you all liked it, give it a thumb. Subscribe Please. if you haven't already. Consider supporting the show over on Patreon.com forward slash HCHQ. That right below me, HeavyCon. Uh, Registration mm. is open for a few more weeks, uh, so Memorial Day weekend, like it says, uh, it's be May 25th to 28th. I'm really looking forward to it. It's, yeah. it's doing really well. I'm excited yeah. to have it back now that the pandemic is over. Yeah, and I when you know. go to a normal con, like a regular so-and-so con, you tend to play a lot of lighter games, but, you know, to have heavy games for three days is just, you know, I mean... Well, I mean, the fourth... The oh, no, it's four full. It's 8 a.m. Okay. Thursday. Oh, all right. Okay. Until midnight on Sunday so, night. All right. Well, that no, might no, be playing it's a lot more of games than uh, I thought. Well, no, we, see, and we did that intentionally because mm. Monday, being a holiday. holiday, can be a travel day for folks to travel oh, yeah. back home. I that way they can that. stay the entire time. That's true. Stay at the hotel that night, and then... Yeah, because it, it who knows goes what shows, who shows up at the hotel on Monday to continue playing games. I, I mean, if y'all want to knock yourself out, there's a lobby. All right, that's it. We're out of here. We'll be back tonight for Ostia. Hopefully, y'all join us. I'm Edward. I'm Derek. Y'all have a good night or a good afternoon, as it were. We'll see you in, oh, God, three hours. Yeah, okay, see we'll see y'all then. All right, bye, y'all. Good game. Yeah. That was tight. Yeah, that, that was, was good stuff. Uh, nice.